Hey guys, this is Pram bringing you the top four of the Virginia State Championships. On our left, we have Stefan Robinson, and on our right, we have Steven Varesco. Uh, we've seen these guys before on previous videos, so it's good to see them return back into the final rounds of the top cut. So, Stefan's running a Zekrom electric deck with uh, Ed's Petrusu, and it's pretty interesting. He plays lasers and Verbank and Zekrom. So he's really just trying to do 150 with the Zekrom EX and then laser 180. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. That, that's a really strong combo. We'll see how that works out versus Steven. He's going to he even plays Tornadus here. That's pretty interesting. And now we'll just see how this plays out for uh, Stefan. Uh, Steven's hand, he hasn't gone taking a turn yet but uh he will I think this matchup is somewhat in dark rise favor I always I always tend to think the dark uh, dark ride deck is a little bit ahead against eels but uh not by too much it's it's a very close matchup so we'll see how that works out we'll see a, a laser coming down and that looks like a tails so now we're going to see um, a Juniper come in, and let's see, he, Steven really wants like an energy switch at this point. Uh, if he can get that, he'd be pretty good, but it looks like he has a Max Potion, a uh, Verbank, a couple supporters, yeah, and random receiver, so can't really do too much. And he's just going to let the Keldeo sit out there. So, the thing about uh, putting the early 30 damage on with uh, Zekrom here, or I'm sorry, with uh, Laser, is uh, on the Dark Rite, is now that it can just randomly come up with uh, Zekrom EX, do 150 to it, and then it's a knockout. But we did see uh, Steven running Max Potion, so that could be a very big deal coming in. Uh, we're going to see a knockout on this Sableye here. A uh, laser came down, and the Tornadus with a DCE. That's pretty... Uh, Steven's deck, is, or Stefan's deck, is a uh, really aggressive eel deck. Um, you know, generally eels have been, uh, nowadays have been running Rayquaza. It's much more passive. You really just sit back, wait for a bunch of Rayquazas, and then you take three, uh, you knock out three EXs that way. But uh, Stefan is just going, nope, I'm going to get a bunch of early prizes and I'm going to start sweeping up with Zekrom. And that's a pretty effective strategy, really. So, uh, Steven's really backed into a corner really early. He might have to sacrifice another Sableye, which could be pretty big. Uh, if he can get a Darkrai out this turn... That would be very big, but uh, we'll see if he can do that. He's really going to need a dark patch energy energy switch. So he's going to energy search for the dark, and probably just going to discard it with the juniper in his hand. Um, so he's just going through his options, kind of seeing what he has in there. And he'll uh, go through what he can do. If he can hit a laser... And a Night Spear this turn. Put 30 onto, let's say, a Tynamo. Then he'll be in great shape because the next turn he can catch her up. A Zekrom hit it or a Tynamo and hit it. And then the Tornadus will only have 40 HP left. So we do see... Did he hit what he needs to hit? Uh, he has some lasers... Saw a dark patch, a catcher. So he's going to be one energy short this turn, which is pretty unfortunate for him. But he might be able to buy himself some time with laser here. Uh, laser is still good here. And, yep, he's going to put Tornadus to sleep. And now it's just going to be, can Tornadus wake up? And if he can't, then can he get a switch or escape rope? Okay, so we see it stay asleep. 
Now, we see uh, Stefan's hand pretty solid. He's going to get some eels now. He's going to get his deck really online. And it's, it's going to start moseying on through. And the, the more developed Stefan's board becomes, the less chance of Steven has of winning. So, this game is slowly slipping away, even this early. And this is really the strength of the eel deck. No deck can beat eels, pretty much, if it gets out fast enough. And that's what we're seeing here, really. So, we do see a laser coming down. Puts the Keldeo to sleep. And a max potion. And this is good, because he wants to get the lightning in the discard. So, if he has another eel... He, uh, max potions the Tornadus, too. So, that's pretty big. Uh, oh, and he has Juniper, too. So... If he can get a switch and a DC and an eel, then he's going to attack with the Zekrom this turn, which would be gigantic. And he has an eel, puts two on the Zekrom, and does he have the DC and a switch is the real question here. He does not. However, he's still pretty set. Uh, you know, his, his board's really strong. He's going to have to pass with the Tornadus, which is going to put it at three damage. And now uh, Steven's going to be able to take two prizes this turn, if he chooses to. He might want to ignore the Tornadus at this point uh, and get some damage onto the Zekrom. But he's going to send up his uh, Darkrai, maybe bench another Darkrai. Oh, he's going to catch her. Yeah, okay. So he's going after the Zekrom here. And this is really strong. Um, so he... Catchers a Zekrom, lasers it. He's going to have to bench down maybe another Darkrai. Uh, yeah, I think he would want to. Uh, and then he's going to have to end, yeah. So now what's going to happen is... Zekrom is going to end up with uh, 140 on it. And probably wants to put uh, 30 on the Tornadus. So that'll go to 6. Zekrom would be at 140. And then, you know, what do you do? Uh, you have to, like, if you want to take two prizes, you have to keep Zekrom out. But that could be a four prize swing next turn if uh, Steven can get another Dark Claw or a Laser and a Catcher. And these are things that uh, Dark Ride does really well. So we'll see how this works out. Uh, he has another Dark Patch, it looks like. But, oh, he has a Dark Claw, too. So he, uh, Steven has pretty much almost everything he needs. He's, uh, in really good shape here. He's just gonna retreat, attack, and just kinda see how Stefan responds to this aggression. So, alright, so let's see. He's going to take 140. They're just kinda doing the math here. But he's he's debating on who to put 30 on. I, I really like putting it on the Tornadus right here. Uh, it just really opens up your options. And yeah, Steven agrees. So, Stefan has another Zachary Mayax in his hand. He might want to play it down. Uh, start powering up that one. And does he have enough energy to double Dynamo onto it? I know he has like, I think he has like one in his discard. Uh, so we're going to have to see, is he going to go for the strong volt here? Yep. He's going to go for the 150. He's going to take down that dark eye and there we go. Uh, the Zekrom takes additional damage and now, Ooh, Steven even draws the catcher. What a baller. So he's going to be able to get two energy on the field. Uh, and he's going to have a Dark Claw. He's going to have a Catcher. So, and he's going to have an N. So actually, all Steven needs is an energy switch or another Dark Patch. And he will be up four prizes. He's going to end his opponent down to three. And he's going to take four prizes this turn if it uh, happens. But... uh. He's going to random receiver, 
Uh, really just get a random receiver into his discard, uh, just in case he wants to save Bly later. But he's also looking for the Juniper. Um, though I think N here would be good. So we're just going to see an N in a little bit. And now let's see. What can Stefan do to respond to this? Well, you know, if you hit a laser and an energy card, you actually just one-shot Darkrai in Stefan's position. However, he's gone through two lasers so far, so he only has two left. And his deck's still pretty big. He's only drawing three cards. It may not happen. Uh, hitting the laser is going to be definitely the hardest part of his little combo here. And... Let's see, does Steven draw the energy he needs? Yes, he does. He draws the energy switch. So, just double checking his math. And, yep, he's going to retreat, energy switch, and then he's just going to take four prizes. And he has another save eye, a dark eye, laser, uh, but nothing too much. But these four cards will definitely help him out. And we see Omoga come active, give him the free retreat. He's going to double Dynamotor here. And he has a Juniper too, so that's pretty big. He's going to attach. Super, uh, he has a laser. Oh wow, he just has everything. Uh, that's pretty big. Uh, wow, that, that that's huge actually. And he plays Juniper down. What a baller. So, he's going to get out another Tynamo. It looks like he ha has a uh, two Ultra Balls, so he might be able to get a Zekramount too. So, he's going to Ultra Ball, get rid of Emolga, and Tynamo. He actually only likes to have... Uh, he only needs two Eels, it looks like. Which is makes sense, you know, you only need two Dynamoters twice and then DCE. And then you got your combo online. So, good plays. And, yeah, wow, what an impressive eel version. Uh, it really just kind of goes for the quick aggressive prizes and does giant damage with Zekrom. And, yeah, it's strong. I mean, if you ever run into a three energy Landorus, that could be an issue. But you have Tornadus to help you out. So, it, it can work out sometimes. But, uh... So, we're just gonna see an Ultra Ball here. And he's really just, uh... Thinning his deck down. Gets rid of his Zekrom for another Tynamo. For Electros. Interesting. Uh, I... That's the slurp shape down one, so he's going to drag something up later, maybe. Uh, interesting tech. I could really just help him get the last prize if need be. But he actually has the game in hand if... Yeah, he has a DCE and a catcher in his hand. So, uh, Steven's really going to have to respond with an N here. He has to have N. But, uh... I don't think he does. He doesn't have any supporters in his hand. And does he have a random receiver? No. Uh, I, I suppose he can defensive catcher the the electric, and then he has to. Um, yeah, yeah. He has to catcher the electric, laser it, and oh, he attached the dark eye. He really needed to touch the Keldeo, and then he needed to. Retreat for Sableye, and then uh, really just a apply pressure with, or just junk hunt. He'll get himself some Dark Patch and uh, maybe a random receiver, maybe two Dark Patches. So that's really what he needed to do. Uh, he puts the Zekrom to sleep, which is okay. Then, then again, you know, uh, Stefan has gone through a lot of switches. 
or rather, a lot of non-switches. So he may just not, uh, I don't think he's played it any yet. Uh, huh. Interesting. So we're going to see a junk hunt here. And now it really just comes down, does uh, Stefan stay asleep? If he does, if he can stay, if he stays asleep and he can't move his Zekrom, then Dark Rise is going to knock it out. Because it'll come back to Steven at 60 damage and then 90 plus 30, knock out. So, this could be the deciding factor of this game. Does Zekrom EX wake up from sleep? And the format's really defined by laser, and here we're seeing it again. So, here we go. We're just going to see a DCE and then knockout. So, very close game. Um, Steven almost pulled it out, but Zekrom proved to be a little too strong here. And we're going to go on to game two. So, uh, both players can kind of take away something from game one. You know, this isn't a very played version of Electric. So you're not really uh, used to knowing what to do here. Um, it could have went either way, honestly. But, yeah. It ended up being in Stefan's favor. I don't know. Uh, if... If he had a switch, could he have gotten out of it? Mm, he would have had forced been forced to have the switch to get the electric out of the active. No, 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 that's not true. Because actually, I like Steven's play better because he he knows his opponent runs DCE, and so he could just do double Dynamotor into the Zekrom. Yeah, double Dynamotor into Zekrom. And then DCE retreat. So either way, it would have came down to a, a sleep flip. Uh, and yeah, so almost for Steven, but Stefan pretty much had it, everything locked up as long as his, his active woke up. So now we're just going to shuffle up for game two and... Hopefully, Steven will win, so we get to see a Game 3 and really come down to the wire. Uh, always like seeing Game 3s for uh, these kind of th these kind of matches. It's, uh, it really makes it nice and close. But, uh, you know, sometimes 2-0s aren't bad either. Uh, it really, like, if, if a deck 2-0s something, it can sometimes show, like, its dominance in a matchup. However, maybe not so much here. You know, uh... There's a lot of uh, variance in the format right now, uh, where any deck can really beat any deck. Uh, there's not too many uh, matchups that are over 50%, so it, when you get two players of similar skill levels, uh, it really just shows who's... Like, it's really hard to predict who's going to win, so that's the format we're in right now. But uh, everyone. But uh, yeah, we'll just get through it, and uh, now we'll get to see game two in a pretty fun matchup. I actually like this matchup uh, quite a lot. It's uh, really cool to see Zekrami X kind of come back. It never really got too big, but now here we are seeing it in the top four, and we'll see if it can pull out a win and go on to the finals. And. Yeah, so we're just going to watch these guys shuffle up a little more. Just make sure their decks are completely shuffled and randomized. Uh, you don't, you never want, like, you never want your deck to get too clumped up. And... Alright, so we're just going to see game two start up. Looks like Steven Mulligans. He's going to get be able to go first, though. So that's good for him. Um, Alright. Just 
got to wait for them to shuffle up. And we can get this match going. So, how do you think, what do you guys think is going to win out here? I kind of think Eel actually has the favorite in this matchup. Um, you know, seeing the lasers, seeing the Zekrom EX, everything just works out perfectly. Uh, Steven did have the Max Potion. You know, I kind of liked Max Potioning off the 30 damage back at like turn 1 or 2 in game 1. And that would prevent kind of the landslide that happened. Um, if you can negate laser, any laser you see, if you can just negate it, you can reuse your lasers as Dark Rai. Zekrom doesn't have that luxury. So, we're just going to... So, yeah, I mean, like, I, I really think it just comes down to how many lasers can they draw, how many lasers can you negate, and that's really what it comes down to, I think. Um, so, we're going to see Steven Mulligan again. Uh, he's Mulligan, like, a few times already, and he's really going to want his first supporter to be an end, because Safan's turn's going to be really, really big, but, uh, we see a Keldeo start from Steven, and he does have an end, so that's going to be pretty good for him. We see a Tynamo and a Zekrom, and here we go. So, laser comes down. Really get that early damage on. And probably an Ultra Ball discarding Juniper and Dark. He's going to want to get the Dark Rye here. Oh, he gets Sableye. Uh, well, either way, it works. It's fine. But he needs Dark Rye to really get out of the active spot. So, I guess if he's worried about catcher laser, then this is fine too. But, uh, let's see, does he go with Juniper or does he go with N? I like, okay, he goes with Juniper. And now, let's see, he draws another Sableye, draws a Max Potion, Dark Patch. Can't really do much. He can Dark Patch here, but that's really going to be the end of his turn. And he's going to watch Zekrom take 10. So now we get to... Uh, he retreats without Dark Rye. There we go. Uh, yeah, you know, once you, get, uh, once you play Dark Rye for a while, you, you kind of get used to having Dark Rye on the field, so... You start assuming that as long as they have a dark energy, they have for a retreat. But, you know, this is not the case at this point. Maybe later. But, um... Alright. So, we see a laser come down. And it's a heads. I, yep. So, DCE. Another card that would uh, actually wreck this matchup for uh, Steven. If he played Enhance Hammer... Um, that card would be so big against this deck. Well, I mean, it'd be pretty big. Wouldn't be, like, gigantic because your opponent could still go, like, four of lightning energies. But at that point, you could control that by knocking out electrics rather than knocking out Zekrom's. But we're going to see two lightnings go into the discard with an Ultra Ball. Pretty big. Probably get another Tynamo. Yep. And he has a Verbank. So he might want to play that down. Um... Sure, it'll increase the damage you take, but it increases the damage Keldeo takes, which might matter. Um, but he's gonna pass on on that. Uh, so I I like that. He's gonna only be at thirty, because if he had played down the Verbank, he would have gone down to one hundred and forty, and then you know Dark Ride, Dark Patch, uh, Dark Claw, all those shenanigans could have really gave him a lot of trouble. So, we're going to see some uh, options here for Steven. Not a lot, actually. Um, sure, he has a max potion. He could attach, get rid of that one damage counter, but that's not going to do much. It looks like he's just going to have the Juniper here. Um, he ran a receiver. I guess he's looking for N, 
But if he hits another Juniper, he's going to be in a world of trouble. So now he's out of Junipers. Um, he's going to have the Juniper here. He has no more Junipers left in his deck. That's all four. And uh, you know, this is kind of why I like grabbing the Darkrai first. Because even though you know you, you want both... The Dark Ride will still give you utility if you don't hit the other part, whereas Sableye's utility is kind of non-existent at the moment. Uh, we're going to see a Juniper discarding a ton of cards, and that's all of his Junipers, so no more Miracle Junipers endgame. It's really just going to come down to his ends and Bianca. So, let's see, Dark Ride. We see Dark Claw. Um, he's just going to go for a Junk Hunt this turn, really. And uh, if he had, if he could have gotten the Verbank this turn, too, that would have been really big. But uh, it looks like... Honestly, I think I just retreat, I would just retreat and uh, Junk Hunt at this point. You don't really want to commit a Dark Claw yet. You don't really know how that's going to work out. So you just want to retreat, Junk Hunt, get the Dark Patch... Uh, Maybe get a max, po get two dark patches, really. Yeah. Yeah, you get two dark patches here. And, uh, Steven agrees. But now we're gonna see a few. I, I saw one electric. I don't know if he has two. Yep, he has two. So we see a computer search, and that's gonna get a juniper. And, uh, really. Oh, he gets N. So he's gonna play that down. Use the end, and I guess he's just predicting that he's not gonna need cards later, or the ends are really just gonna hurt him on, as he's gonna be the uh, the first strike in this match. Um, though he can't knock out an EX yet, uh, he would have to get Verbank Laser, and yeah, I don't think he can do it this turn. He might be able to get a Sableye off. He might be able to knock out the Sableye, which would be pretty nice. But in the long scheme of things, a actually non, uh, it doesn't do anything for him because after this first Sableye dies, uh, Steven isn't going to put out any, any other non-EXs. So we're going to see an Ultra Ball here. And that's going to get Molga and Colrus. Yeah, Colrus, not a good card in this matchup. Uh, Steven's bench really won't get too, too big. And now we're just going to see uh, the Zekrom Swarm. We're going to do, we're going to see a lot of 150s, a lot of lasers, and a lot of Urbank. So we'll see how this works out. I think he is an Amolga too. He might want to play that down. Really just give himself the free retreat. It's not like Amolga would ever get Night Speared for either the bench damage or the normal damage. So he actually just passes. So, now, if Steven can get a Verbank in play, then he'll be, he'll be able to take out the Zekrom, and that's really what he has to do here. He really just has to take it out, and so he gets, the, he gets a Dark Claw on it, Energy Switch, and Verbank... Oh, so he really just needs an uh, a dark patch here, or an energy switch. He's gonna go for the N. Both players are gonna get six new cards. Um, yeah, he's just gonna do it. And now it's just gonna come down to: Does Steven get an energy card, a dark patch, or an energy switch? And does Stefan get a a laser? That's what he has to hit. He has to hit a laser, and if he does, then game might be over. You know, Steven would have to pull out a new Darkrai out of nowhere. But if he doesn't, then if he can, if he, Stefan misses laser here, then that it's really what it comes down to. It's really, I think this matchup really just comes down to how well Stefan draws. If Stefan draws really well, Hits his lasers, gets that 180 damage out. 
then Darkrai is going to struggle a lot. But if uh, Stefan can just keep attacking like he normally does, then there won't be any problems. So we're going to see a computer search here. So he gets rid of a Dark and a Verbank. And he's going to get... I think he grabbed a Dark Patch. I think that's what he grabbed. And I like this. You really want to keep get as many energy on the board as possible. Yeah, he got a Dark Patch. So... Uh, we're going to see a Dark Patch onto the Dark Rye. He's going to take two prizes this turn. Uh, he has a Catcher, Energy Switch, and a Dark Energy. So, we'll see what he can do here. But, uh, going to go in for two prizes. And he's going to put 30 on the Zekrom, I guess. I mean, with a, if he draws Laser off the prize... And if his opponent doesn't laser him, then he can knock out another Zekrom. But he goes for the electric here. Uh, I don't know. I, I like the Zekrom more because you know your opponent runs Max Potion. So you know he can just Max Potion the damage off the electric. And if you put the 30 on the Zekrom, he's not going to Max Potion all that energy away. He can't. So... I kind of like the Zekra more, but uh, we do see an Amolga come out from the level ball. Just kind of get that free retreat going on. And, yeah, it does, does Stefan have a laser? This is really what it comes down to. Uh, the laser wars, and does he have it? He has a max potion. Uh... I don't know if he has any other, if he has a supporter in his hand or not. That could be a big deal. He plays Ultra Ball, gets rid of Electros, and he's just gonna get a, a Zekrom here. No, he gets Tornadus. Uh, so his third Zekrom might be prized. Probably is. I, I would suspect he would get. Actually, if he can't, if he doesn't have a supporter, uh, yeah. I don't know. This is... I don't think he has a supporter in his hand, is what it's coming down to. He's going to double Dynamotor onto Tornadus. But, uh, does he have anything to follow this up with? No. The answer is no. He's going to do 150. And now, uh, St Steven has a big opportunity here to really do a lot of damage. So he's going to discard two darks probably. Yeah. Discard two darks, catcher something. Or do you catcher anything at all? Huh. He's going to need to build up another dark cry. Uh I guess you just go you discard two darks, you get a dark cry. You already have a dark energy and an energy switch. You can go for the uh, prize, get rid of a electric, and then 30 onto the other electric. That wouldn't be too bad. And then all you need is two prizes after that. Because uh, you do need the cards from your prizes. Um, he needs. He just needs to get a supporter here. And anything that'll get him extra cards will probably be pretty big here. So he's going to go for the electric here. And he's just going to do uh, 110, 30 to the electric. And hopefully his prize card will do something for him. But we're going to see a max potion come down. A little bit disappointing for Steven here. But uh, Stefan does have one uh, Dynamotor available. Didn't look like he drew anything. Didn't get to see what it was. But now he's going to be up a bunch of cards. And what can Steven do? He has a Dark Rye and an Energy Switch. And another Dark. Uh, not the greatest situation in the world. He might need to just Junk Hunt this turn, to be honest. Um, 
Yeah, uh, maybe just a tat play down the other dark rye. And, uh, yeah, play down the other dark rye. Give it a dark energy. Junk hunt for a random receiver. And dark patch. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Um, so it looks like I think he's going to go for dark patch here. Maybe a laser. He goes for laser. Okay. So this is good. But next turn, he's definitely going to have a two energy dark rye. And he's definitely going to have um, an N come down because that's really. He doesn't have any junipers left. <laughs> Remember that those went away quite quickly. Uh, we do see a Sable go down. Uh, not a important prize. Um, so he just draws the end. That always happens sometimes too. You ran, you junk hunt for a random receiver, and then you draw the supporter anyways, and you just go, oh well, I guess I'm just up a random receiver. So we're gonna see a laser come down, and here comes the end. So both players drawing three cards, and Steven really needs to hit a energy card here. And he really needs to have his opponent not draw a laser. That's really what this is coming down to. And again, it's just how well does Stefan draw? This is really what the matchup comes down to. If he draws really well, then the game's over. Uh, if he doesn't draw really well, then Dark Rye can kind of uh, squeak some wins through. So I really think this matchup is in Zekrom's favor. Uh, just simply because... Hey, it all depends on what I draw, kind of thing. So we do see some lasers and uh it looks like a dark a catcher. Uh he's definitely gonna have to catch her here. Uh you just catch your electric and then you laser it, and then you just hope for the best. Is <laughs> oh he goes for the Zekrom. So he's catching the Zekrom, laser it. Put it to sleep, even. Uh, very fortunate. And now he stays asleep. So this is huge. Uh, if he draws an energy card, because Zekrom's going to go to six, he's going to stay asleep. If he draws an energy card here, would be the biggest, but he does not. Uh, so now. We're just sitting here waiting for the Zekrom to wake up and unleash a ton of fury on the world. But uh, that looks like to not be the case. Uh, yeah, if he had woken up there, the game is pretty much over. Because Laser would have came down. Um, and it would have been very brutal. But we're going to see Zekrom to continue to be asleep. And Laser might have just won the game on a sleep flip. Uh, enough tails goes your way. You can pull you can make miracles happen. So if Siphon stays asleep one more turn, then is Zachram is actually just knocked out to do one laser and a bunch of tails. Which would be pretty devastating. And we're gonna see an N here. Um and yeah so let's see what both players draw off these three cards if I don't even huh does Steven even want to attack with Darkrai at this point would he just want to like maybe yeah if he gets an energy I think he just wants to retreat for Keldeo or something even if he gets the energy card, I think you just retreat here. Uh, looks like he has a Verbank, Laser, and... No, he has a Dark Patch. Dark Patch. So he's going to retreat for Keldeo. Yeah. And he's going to Dark Patch the third energy onto the Stark Rye here. And that's just going to be a pass. He's just really hoping this works out for him. So... Here comes another sleep check. Does it happen? Does he wake up? The answer is... No, he does not wake up, I guess. 
Yeah, no, he oh he, he does wake up. He does wake up. All right, so uh, laser has done a hundred and fifty damage to the Sekrom. That's a lot. So now what he's gonna stare down is Steven only needs the one catcher and he wins the game. That's really what this game came down to because of laser. And Stefan needs a catcher and a late no just a catcher he just needs a catcher so it's really just coming down to who can draw a catcher uh if steven draws catcher then steven wins or rather if Stefan draws catcher first then yeah whoever can play their catcher first will win the game i think uh because even if the zekrom does go down not a big deal and especially if you draw a catcher switch oh that's even more gravy but uh Huh. This is a really interesting game, man. Really, uh, Stefan really should have won this game a while ago. But, uh, you know, sleep checks and all the all those shenanigans. And, you know, you get left with this kind of game. Uh, he plays down another Zekrom. Doesn't have any Dynamite or energy, it looks like. So it looks like he's just going to retreat into Tornadus here. And... Steven has the catcher. <laughs> wow, what a what a turn of events. We're going to see a, a blow through. And, yeah. So, here we go. Just draw, all he has to do is play catcher here on a eel. And, or on any non-EX Pokemon. Oh, he has to retreat too. Uh does he have the energy to retreat with? Uh, he has a dark patch and energy switch. Yeah, he's got it. So he has all the cards he needs to pull this game out of uh, nowhere. <laughs> and he has a dark claw just to make it fancy. But he takes three prizes. And Steven wins game two. So we are going on to a game three. And which is... A very uh, unlikely series of events that happened. All Stefan needed to do was just wake up, but he just couldn't do it. He, his his Zekrom just couldn't wake up at all. And we really just saw the laser damage rack on to the point where it just lost him the game. So even And, and even then, all he had to do was draw a catcher, and he would have won. So, uh, yeah, unfortunate for uh, Stefan. But uh, that's just the way it works sometimes. And now we're going to see uh, both players go into game three. Uh, a Verbank of <laughs> Stevens kind of... And a catcher. Oof. But uh, it looks like all the cards have been returned to each other's decks. And uh, now we're going to go into game three momentarily. And see how that works out. Stefan is going to get to go first. So, you know, he has the going first advantage. I actually think he has the matchup advantage too, too. So, um, yeah, I think everything, I think it's going to be very tough for Steven to win this game unless he gets like a turn two Night Spear. And that's really what you have to do. You have to go like turn two Night Spear, prize, 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 prize. And if you can do that, and your opponent gets a sluggish start, then I think you, you'll just win. But if, you know, Stefan can start attacking with lasers and Zekrom, then it could go downhill very, very quickly. Uh, one of the big down uh, downsides to the Rayquaza version of this deck was you really needed three electrics, and that was, like, a lot. But with Stefan's version, you only actually need two. And you only need two for a little bit, because then you get DCEs online. So, uh, there's really a... You you do you do the same thing for a lot less, is really what it comes down to. Uh, you don't need as much board presence with uh, this version of Eel. And that's really what this game is about uh, right now. It's really just about how much can I uh, play out play down from my hand to do the most amount of damage or the most uh and that's really what we're seeing here 
uh, Stefan's version doing. Uh, no, like, four mulligans from Steven this time. Both players start with uh, a basic. And here we go. Going on to game three. And we see a Tornado start versus Darkrai. So, if we can see maybe a Verbank DCE, that would be pretty strong. Turn one. We, ooh, we see two Electrics discarded with an Ultra Ball. Uh, very brutal. Uh, he's going to have to Super Rod those back eventually. That or Alistly has two more Eels in his deck. And he's just fine. So, yeah, he, he does have the Super Rod. So, it looks like Juniper is on its way. Probably. Uh, and if he, yeah, this is a good turn for, uh, Steph good opener for Stefan. Oh, no supporter. Wow. Um, no supporter, no energy. Wow. That's pretty brutal. Um, so he gets poisoned here. Uh, I don't even know. Wow. That's as long as Steven avoids playing down. Uh, a N here, then he'll be in great shape. He junipers away two dark patches and an energy card and proceeds to not draw any energy. Uh, kind of unfortunate for him. Uh, next turn he's really just gonna go juniper. Uh, but, uh, we're just gonna see a pass, I think. Yeah. I don't even think he benched down the Keldeo. You just pass here. Yep, so that's what he agrees. Tornadus takes the one damage, and we see an N off the top. It looks like the card he was holding was a max potion, so... You know, sometimes you kind of just hope your opponent just draws dead, but, uh, you know, when you don't have any supporters in your hand, there's a ton of them in the deck, so you have a pretty decent chance of drawing into it anyways. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Now we're gonna see. We're gonna hopefully see Stefan get some things rolling. Maybe get a Verbank DCE, get some eels out. Uh, really, just get his deck online. Whereas uh, Steven, he's really just gonna try to get as many Dark Rise. He's gonna get, try to get Dark Rise out. He's really gonna want a Junk Hunt uh, eventually. He has two Dark Patches and then a discard, which is very big. So we do see a laser come down, put him to sleep, and we see a bunch of lightning energies. Catcher, no supporter. Huh. So he has a max potion and a catcher and two lightnings in his hand right now. Uh, he's not going to be able to do too much with that if Steven can muster anything up. Uh, so, But Dark Rider does stay asleep, and Steven does draw an N. Which he's going to be forced into using. Uh, actually, he has a juniper, but that's a lot of cards to get rid of. You're going to want to have. You're just going to want to attach an N. Actually, I don't think you attach here. Uh, I think you go for the Keldeo. Huh. Yeah, if you had if he had woken up, I would say attach there. But it, since he didn't. You really want to maybe go for an Ultra Ball Keldeo, Darkrai, Sableye kind of thing? Uh, sure, you can attach here. That's all fine and dandy, but... Uh, eh. It's unfortunate that, uh, you know, uh, for Steven that he played N here. You know, he doesn't know about... I mean, that's actually the right play, given what the information you have. But it kind of works out in Stefan's favor. He was like, whew, dodged a bullet there. So... Alright, let's see. He has a Sableye, uh, Energy Switch, Dark Patch, a bunch of energies. He doesn't have a supporter. So this is really just coming down to, like, both players just not drawing well. Uh, Stefan's draws is a little better, but, uh, yeah, this is really just what it's coming down to. Um, actually, Stefan can just knock out this deck or this dark ride this turn maybe uh he has a dc in his hand if he can get the lightning in the discard with the switch then poison will knock it out yeah if he can do it yeah even has lasers too 
Uh, he might want to just go for a blow through. But nope. DCE onto the Zekrom. And I think he has a Juniper in his hand. Uh, actually, he just doesn't have anything in his hand other than that. So we just see a pass. And both players just taking a lot and a lot of damage from these uh, <laughs> these sleep checks and poison. Uh, we do see a dark energy come down onto the Sableye, and that's just going to be a big pass. Yeah. Can't really do anything. He's going to let just continue let damage rack up on his uh, Tornadus. And that's all we're going to see here. Yep. Just passes. Goes for the sleep check. Maybe kind of a flawny turn of events that uh, the reason why Steven was in last game was sleep check. And now the reason why Stefan's in this game is sleep check. So we do see a switch. And now we do see Zekromiax just come in and just... Uh, Knock out <laughs> Dark Eye, and Steven just doesn't have anything. Um, if yeah, if, if Stefan has any sort of attack next turn, then the game is over. Uh, we do see a 150 hit for two prizes. See a laser. Uh, he's really just gonna have to laser the Sekrom. And just hope for the bet. And then uh, Junk Hunt. Yeah, just Laser Junk Hunt is what we're looking at. Maybe catch up on the other Zekrom. Yeah, it's so tough. So, here we go. Laser. Heads. Now, does he, if his opponent has a switch and an energy card, game over. Or just switch laser. I think he has the laser. I don't know if he has a switch, though. Uh, that's one card I've noticed Stefan's been lacking on his switch. I don't know how many plays. It seems like lower than four, just based on the number of times it's come up. Then again, he could have just been unlucky. Maybe he's at, like, three or two. Uh, you know, you have to cut something for these lasers, right? But, uh, here we go. We have two energy onto that Zekrom, and we have a switch. So, congratulations to Stefan. You move on to the finals of the Virginia State Championships.